Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, the tanks are ready. The problem is uh, they don't have crews to uh, uh, use them. <laughs> so the Western coalition, uh, the NATO, the, the guys who fight uh, Russia in Ukraine, or, uh, you know, no, they're not, they, they just help. Uh, they got uh, some uh, Leopard 2 tanks ready, a lot of them. So let's see who's going to uh, drive them or use them. This article comes, not that I'm concerned about it, I would like to know though. The new voice of Ukraine reports on February 15, 2023, and I'm quoting Tank Coalition, end quote, has full battalion of Leopard 2A4 tanks ready for Ukraine. Wow, that's good. That's good. But are they trained already? And I'm quoting, I want to say that we have equipped a battalion of Leopard 2A4 tanks. End quote, said Blaszczak. Blaszczak? Who's Blaszczak? Should be a Polish? Uh, yeah. He added that Poland transferred 14 tanks, Norway 8, Canada 4, Spain 4 to 6, with Finland donating an unspecified number of vehicles. According to the minister, trading, training of Ukrainian crews is currently underway in Poland with help from Canadian and Norwegian instructors. On February 14th, US Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said that a group of countries, including Germany, Poland, Canada, Portugal, Spain, Norway, Denmark, and the Netherlands are working on the transfer of Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine. On January 25, after long hesitation, Germany approved the transfer of 14 Leopard 2 tanks to Ukraine and their re-export from partner countries. On the same day, the US announced the delivery of 31 M1 Abrams tanks to Ukraine. German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius said that the first tanks can be sent to Ukraine by the end of March. <laughs> That's a long way to the top, if you want to rock and roll. All right, so Ukrainian Foreign Minister Dmitry Kuleba stated that Ukraine will receive 120 to 140 modern Western tanks in the first wave. President Volodymyr Zelensky said that Ukraine needs 300 to 500 tanks for a major counteroffensive. On February 7, Berlin issued a license to German military companies to support Ukraine with 178 Leopard 1 A5 tanks. Pistorius stated that Ukraine would receive more than 100 Leopard 1 A5s from several European countries. So it's okay, the war will not um, uh, escalate. After that, then what? Then what? Those will come and go. Then what? It's not easy to uh, build again, I don't know, uh, 178 tanks, Germany. But hey, what do I know? The thing is here, I got to understand this situation as follows. We have the bad dude here, we have the good dudes here, which has an, actually one guy who's the perfect dude, United States of America, with a lot of little dudes that are like bottom feeders, like carp. You know how the carp feeds from the bottom of the lake? Because everything that falls over there, up, up, no effort, okay? And these guys are also the vassal states of the big dude. And the big dude and the big bad big dude here, they have a little bit of a, uh, a misunderstanding. And somehow they have this little country here of Ukraine with another good dude uh, that will uh, challenge this big dude. Therefore, we have these guys all fighting those guys on the territory of this nation called Ukraine. And um, the goal is to defend Ukraine. Or, I would say, the reality is to take care of the big dude, which is a bad dude and could challenge the other bad dude. Uh, sorry, good dude. But the problem is that this bad dude, uh, called uh, Russia, has some friends and is not really isolated yet. And those friends or partners or you know, partners in crime, if you want, are also big dudes. 
and these guys cannot control all these bad dudes, big dudes. Therefore, we have a problem. So I think what's going on right now in this little country here, not little, but in this little spot called Ukraine with the Ukrainian nation is just a, you know, how should I put it? You know, when the angels of light and the angels of death will meet and fight, they will meet on the, this planet. That's how they say. So this is the territory where those angels with those, the other angels will meet and they will decide in the end who's going to be the winner. Okay, the victor. So the same here, the good versus the bad. And uh, how do you call it? Ukraine is planet Earth. Got it? Good. I explained it like I was Kamala Harris, the vice president of the United States of America, of the good country. Okay, uh, that's about it, my friends. Send more tanks, uh, airplanes and long range missile uh, systems and uh, then switch from a peacetime economy to a wartime economy. And will be uh, our lives will be like in the 1984. Remember that one? The continuous war between the whatever Eurasia with uh, Malaysia and Colasia. And we're gonna have the big, uh, big guy called uh, what? Uh, <laughs> big Brother coming and telling us that we have to hate uh, those guys over there because we have, uh, you know, they're not like us and we know better, we're perfect. And uh, yeah, that's how it goes. And then we're gonna have our minutes or five minutes of hate. And we're gonna watch certain kind of, uh, the media is very uh, generous in providing us with information on who to uh, dislike and who to, you know, hate. And then uh, we go back to work, work, pay taxes, definitely consume, drink beer, watch TV, and that's it. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just. Now go to work.